right, guys. <laughs> and there he is, the Star Wars show with the easily the largest vehicle we've done so far on the show. This is the Scania cement mixer from Bruder. And you can see this is a Bruder makes really, really extensive, um, very highly detailed and functional toys. And Leo is going to take you through this one. So, this is a really big truck. You know, you're high, and this was a very big truck. It's called the Bruder Cement Mix. So it can move its wheel, beep, beep. Did the doors both open? Then you can, but there's an extension to on both sides, but it's rolling. You can do this. Yep, you take the handle and move the drum. And you, you can, so, so one thing about this, and I don't know if you're going to be able to actually see inside the drum, but you can put things in the drum and then get them to come back out again and pretend they're like, they're like cement. So, you know, depending on if you guys want to put like a, um, maybe some sort of, you know, thin mud mixture in there or something like that, you can actually get this thing to perform like a real truck, you're just gonna have um, probably not a very easy time rinsing it out again, so be very cautious if you're gonna do that. It also is really easy to get stuck things stuck in there, and if you do, it combined up the gears. So um, we had, how many, how many Hot Wheels did we have in there? We had like 20 Hot Wheels in there once, uh, just to see how many Hot Wheels we could put in there, and it actually stopped it in, until we could get all the Hot Wheels out, and that took a long, long time. As you can see from some of the rotations here, uh, the blue stripes are paper. Um, actually, I shouldn't say that. They're not paper. They're, they're plastic. They're like a, a adhesive back uh, polyester or something like that. Stickers. Yeah, they're, they're, they're plastic stickers. So those will come off as well. Um, and there are some other you know paper stickers and so on on here for, for some of the various stuff. So you have that. Um, Let's take a look at the extensions yeah let's take a look at the extensions and let's um at this point we're just going to jump off the tripod and go mobile here so hang on a second okay guys and here we are at the back of it and leah is going to show you how to get the extensions off uh basically you can see you just put them on in an l and then swing it down so here is they have little things that slide and hold uh this is again just like a real cement truck so, so the level of detail on here is pretty, pretty astounding actually. Including a, there's a random hose here. We kind of have a bunch of these, but we have four instead of an excavator too. This okay. would come with one more too. Yeah, uh, this one I don't believe does because that's enough to get it to the ground. So it wouldn't normally come with another one to go past the ground. So, so this is the correct number of extensions. It's just two. Uh, but there you can see it, it's, we, uh, it's level we with, dump the, with, with the bottom of the truck. Okay, there we are. Guys, we are dumping some pretend cement all over our kitchen floor. Oops. Oh no. Somebody's going to be really unhappy when they see that mask. <laughs> I can dry it up. <laughs> there you go. And I built a mini wall. Nice. And you can see, so there's... Here's another chute where you can add some of the things to it. Um, there is a ladder to climb up there, um, you know, to generally to spray it out. Uh, you would generally climb up there and spray it out. Uh, over on this side, there's another chute there as well. Uh, this does not open, but you could theoretically open that up to put, you would have to actually to put, I guess you wouldn't have to, you could try through here, but if you were going to put, you know, like sand or whatever in it, you could probably find it easier to do it there. Um, and let's uh, take a look at the front here. You can see here's where, so this is for the light bar. It's a light bar hole. Uh, every one of the brooders comes with that. And you can see, let's take a look here at, uh, oh, a Leo's wonderful arm. That's a great arm. Best arm ever. Okay, so let's take a look here at the steps. And you can see there's look at the some detail on the door. Steering wheel that can move. Well, we'll do that side in just a second. Let's show them the passenger side and then, okay, so here's the front of it. Um, Scania, Scania rather, and nice headlights. 
Really good looking headlights. We would have you to could actually pull this out. You can pull this, pull this middle tab thing out, and you can put something else in here. Remember that? <laughs> I don't know why you would do that, but you can. And let's take a look here. So here's the steering wheel. Like Leo was saying, it moves. Instrument, whoops, instrument cluster on there is another paper sticker. Um, and we have various accoutrements here. Let's take a look just at the back of this real quick. And we've got some tail lights. Again, paper stickers. Can't have everything. Um, and real quick, let's just look at the bottom. You can see these are beefy rubber tires. They actually did a really nice job with this. I, I really like this truck. It rolls well. This is one of our better rolling trucks. Made out of pipes. In fact, this is probably the largest truck of any of the brooders that we have. Um, Look, L. This one. Yeah. <laughs> you can make an L and a 7. <laughs> All right. L is for Leo. All right. What else should we show him on the truck? About. Uh, how is, about talking about this? But there's a hose. The hose. We forgot to show that. Yeah, there is a hose back there. Um, that part I think is a little. I'm not super in love with this hose. Spray out. Yeah, I guess it just. I don't know. Hangs there. I'm not quite sure where that goes. Um, we should have taken a picture of this actually when we first got. And there's another hose that. You can see plugs into this port here and comes down here to this. Uh, I don't know where that is anymore. And of course, this doesn't have mirrors any longer. Um, there is a mirror here Psych. for the inside of the truck, but Psych. it doesn't have the. Psych. Yeah, it doesn't have the rear view mirror, so this is not actually even a legal truck to be driving uh, without those. You can see it. Cab lights. So there's a head window and a light. So yeah, this is a it's a just the headlights insanely big. Let's look at the license plates. Okay. Can you pull that piece out and see what it does? This? Yeah. Okay, so this part comes out. Okay, and I, I don't know why you'd want this. Maybe it's some sort of towing accessory or something, possibly. And it looks like it's a smiley there. mouth with some SpongeBob square pants. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It changes the look of the front a little bit. For a truck this heavy, you probably would need something like that. Uh, nice mud flaps on this. It's got, it's got this. This one, unlike a lot of the other cab overs, um, does not allow you to tip it forward. And look at the engine, unfortunately. So that'd be a great you can put feature. These extensions. We we definitely <laughs> yeah, you can fit all kinds of stuff in there. But so the way to do these is these are a little tricky too. Um, so the way you do these is to make sure that the the buttons are up. This is counterintuitive to how it looks, but if you plug it in like this, you can just slide them on. Yeah, I wish I wish you could look at the engine because they do a really nice job on their engines, and you'll see that on some of our future Bruder. Uh, Beater truck, Bruder truck reviews. This particular one doesn't, but it's, you know, if you're playing collision, you need weight, you need size. This thing is great for that. It's probably an over oversized for what we actually need out of a cement mixer for our, for our uh, construction site, but. but Where did um, you even go down this? Okay, remember this one again? Fit this, here, let's see here. Okay, you fit this, fit this part right here in the lip, and you just slide it on like so. And there you go. And there it is, built for built for bear. So yeah, it's a really cool truck. This is uh, is this your favorite? Yeah, and it rolls. This is Leo's favorite. Yeah, I mean it rolls super super well, given all the given all the rubberized tires. Well, it's like and it's stuff. going to its normal construction site. See you later, kids. Thanks all right. Okay, it looks like he's getting ready to drive off. First he needs fuel. He needs, oh, he needs fuel first? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's check this. Okay. See you later, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, thanks for hanging out with us. 
We'll see you on the next Bruder Review. Bye bye kids. Alright guys. Give us a big old thumbs up and click subscribe if you have not done so already. Leave us a comment if you would like to. And we will see you all next time. Bye-bye.